so going ahead with my research uh, the i had mentioned the objective of the present work that is uh, uh, number one to trace the genesis of the domestic violence in india with the help of the uh, constituent assembly yes uh, that is um, uh, debates and reports of the drafting committee number two to replay uh, to explore the uh, relationship of uh, rajasthan and uh, the maharashtra uh, judgment uh, interpreted by the courts of india in various cases to identify the different uh, component parts of fundamental rights under the constitution of india uh, then to analyze the and to evaluate the case law on domestic violence critically with respect uh, to cases decided by the supreme court to identify the different component part of fundamental rights yes of course to access uh, to assess the uh, trend of uh, judicial decisions to find out whether the interpretation of the supreme court is literal or liberal now when we talk about the next one my objective was to study the foreign legal provisions corresponding to domestic violence uh, act 2005 and to have a broad comparative study uh, of the same comparative view of the same so uh, yes uh, Uh, to come uh, to a conclusion whether the supreme court of india is um, gradually moving from state uh, statute and actual literal interpretation to dynamic and liberal interpretation of the act so to make a meaningful contribution to human rights jurisprudence uh, especially a, a punitive and preventive uh, detention jurisprudence to carry out uh, the effectiveness of regulations on prevention of domestic violence in rural parts of india so of course uh, to make a comparative study between the women facing violence and then and their approach towards making appropriate action uh, for relief and uh, remedies under the law uh, yes uh, to study about the uh, com- uh, to com- uh, that is uh, to study about the rampant occurrence of crimes inside the marital home inside the uh, marital home uh, which uh, go unreported due to the stigma attached yes uh, in especially in rural areas of both maharashtra and rajasthan we found that uh, women try to uh, take up you know, the whatever pains they endure because it becomes uh, like a stigma in the place that they stay so they try to avoid going to the courts or maybe going to the uh, you know redressal agencies redressal agencies hypothesis now uh, about the hypothesis number 1 the law only uh, uh, cannot create a climate for democratic way of life laws by themselves are not adequate Uh, what is needed is that such progressive laws must be uh, backed by people's movement number 2 uh, that is uh, the law for domestic violence can be made effective uh, only through people's active involvement the present work number 3 hypothesis the present work is based on the hypothesis in which media and press had played a very important role in prevention of domestic violence highlighting cases even when the issue was pertaining to you know um, uh, the highest strata of society so protection of women rights it's it's important to uh, for not only overall economic development but also for the social growth of the nation the various legislations to protect women from atrocities have an impact in the confidential level of the younger uh, generations yes uh, it's very pertinent to note this point the concept of equality before law and equal protection of law can be uh, more emphasized uh, by proper implementing ways and uh, yes of course by means of, uh, to assist the victims work plan and methodology very important number 1 the present study is combination of both Uh, that is doctrinal and empirical research therefore efforts have been made to study the concept of domestic violence in maharashtra and rajasthan rural 
especially the rural areas which I visited. Uh, the, the doctrines and the principles relating have been uh, discussed at length to understand the concept of this right. Data have been collected with the help of questionnaire and scheduled from the members of society and officers of courts and legal experts. Uh, of course, my cases also, which I, I could handle uh, both uh, in Rajasthan and Maharashtra. So, um, the research makes a review of the uh, literature available from the books of um, eminent authors, periodicals and articles published by Standard Institution. The researcher also makes a review of literature available on the topic and analysis on the basis of the case study uh, from the journals uh, issued by Honorable Court. The re researchers, that's me, yes, of course, uh, tried to sort an, out the attitude of the public in general in respect of such right. Introduction to Domestic Violence in Historical Retrospect, Right Against Domestic Violence, Human Rights and Constitutional Perspective, Right Against Domestic Violence in Global Trends, the Role of Maharashtra and Rajasthan in Domestic Violence, Right Against Domestic Violence vis-a-vis -vis the Right to Privacy, Judicial Trends rel Relating to Enforceability of Rights Against Domestic Violence, uh, conclusions and suggestions are the 12th point. Now, in the last, the researcher concluded the work with certain analytical, scientific and logical deductions. So that is, how did I, uh, how do I conclude this work? Yes, with certain analytical, scientific and logical deductions, certain concrete and feasible suggestions have been provided herein. Now, problem on hand. The problem of domestic violence against women in Indian society is not new. Women have been the victims of humiliation, torture, exploitation in our society since dawn, uh, dawn of time, despite the fact that they were also worshipped. Family is regarded as the first agency that not only provides emotional and material support to its members, but also serves as a fundamental source of personal fulfillment, socialization and social control. It serves as a link between change and continuity as well as a source of stability and support. Enriching family life is the only way of improving human development. On the other hand, in practice, due to patriarchy in our family system, the family does not value all members equally because of role, power and status. Now, what is the scope of the study that I have done? Uh, especially comparing both Rajasthan and the Maharashtra, that is the Rajputana and the Marathwada areas. Uh, this work deals with the scope of legal measures to curb domestic violence against women in India. The Indian state has enacted several laws in the past to address the issue and recently a new comprehensive law is added to the list. The new law has become an alternative to many urban victims, yet a review of the performance of the old and the new laws on domestic violence uh, provides proof that legal measures to such curb uh, to curb domestic violence has serious limitations. Yes, mm, uh, they um, could neither guarantee they could neither guarantee any reduction any reduction in the uh, uh, that is extent to the in the extent of such violence. Uh, that is, nor could they expedite the justice delivery system. Very, very important over here. Much remains to be done uh, to ensure gender justice in a patriarchal society. Of course, when we talk about discussions, here is based on secondary data and supplemented by field data collected through qualitative research informed by feminine uh, feminist uh, that is epistemology. Of course, uh, when we talk about the next important um, aspect of research is yeah, the literature review. The literature review. Now, for this session of literature review, uh, that is eclima. Uh, we uh, uh, the uh, yes Q O R I K U R I N A B I L L A to 2022. Dowry is considered to have been practiced in India. Since the 13th century, the Brahmin caste society in northern and northwest India was the first to give dowry in the, to the groom. 
the practice of dowry as evolved uh, in tandem with the influx of foreign nationals into India. Lord Cornwallis' British colonialism established a Jamindari system that fundamentally transformed the practice of dowry. Yes, uh, uh, here the goal of the study is to investigate Indian legal policies in the dowry death and human rights violation. Uh, this research method employed was uh, normative legal research, primary legal materials such as books, newspaper articles, online articles and paper connected to the topic of the writing were uh, used to comply the data. According to the findings of the study, India has not provided effective dowry relief. India failed to meet its responsibility under the informa uh, International Bill of Human Rights to promote the achievement of human rights. Srinivas Khadappa and Prabhu at all background VAW is a serious public health problem and healthcare providers. HCPs are in a unique position to uh, yes, respond to it as a part of multi-sectoral health system response. The World Health Organization released clinical and policy guidelines. Yes, this clinical and policy guidelines here and after referred to as the guidelines in 2014 to address intimate partner violence, which is, yes, I told you in the beginning due to globalization and opening up of the world economy, we can see a lot of changes, you know, a lot of changes wherein, uh, of course, uh, intimate partner violence, we can see as lawyers, many cases coming across the, uh, in intimate partner violence also. Now here, uh, the um, adaption uh, to the guidelines to the uh, to train HCIPs to respond to violence against women uh, in territory health uh, facilities in Maharashtra. India is described in this practical implementation report methods. We discuss the tactics used to develop and implement the guidelines, uh, including participative methods for identifying and addressing HC HC uh, IP. Uh, moti uh, that is motivations and barriers to delivering care of women who have been victims of violence. Yes, so these are the important aspects. Uh, the adequate is based on a survey of health uh, uh, systems and enables and uh, of course uh, constraints as well as individual HCIP perspectives in training and service delivery content and delivery results. Uh, the interventions training component included uh, that is generating critical reflections generating critical reflections about law and gender power dynamic influence that is women's experience of violence and their health uh, joint training across cadres to have clear roles responsibilities and division of labor and creating ownership among health managers who became uh, the champions of other healthcare providers. Now, standard operating procedures, that is SOPs for managing uh, VAW and enhancing violence, that is violence against women and enhancing referral to other services were among the health uh, system strengthening actions. Conclusions, standard training was extended in this uh, that is uh, intervention by using participatory, collaborative and reflexive strategies to encourage critical thought on gender, power, its impact on health, uh, that is on health uh, outcomes. To, able, to establish an enabling atmosphere, training was paired with the health system um, preparation initiatives. Lessons obtained from the case study can be applied to other levels of health institutions and states in India as well as other LMICs. Summary in plain terms, millions of women around, in plain terms, sorry, summary in plain terms, millions of women across, uh, around the world are victims of violence against women. Uh, of course, healthcare providers can help women in a variety of ways and developing ways to teach and support healthcare provider, providers in uh, low and middle income countries to give highly quality care to women who have been victims of violence. Uh, so we also met many doctors uh, who are actually treating free the women belonging to the 
families of labor class so they are so used to domestic violence that uh, the doctors in that particular area see almost uh, you know taking care of women who are actually bleeding uh, every parts of their body so it's like you know it's very pertinent to note the uh, action which has to be taken by this medical care people immediately to stop this emergence of violence uh, which is becoming too rampant especially in the pandemic especially in the pandemic so uh, shailaja perikam the victim of crime very very uh, literature review uh, the victim of crime crime victim does not have the same rights as the accused in the criminal justice system in all crime the focus has been on the accused individual and the rehabilitation but little attention has been paid to the victims of the crime yes very very important topic over here very little at uh, you know attention has been given to the victims of the crime now uh, when we talk about the criminal justice system that is to defend the rights of the state citizens while also punishing the offender for his actions now the achieve to achieve this goal the most crucial obligation is for the guilty to be punished by the court in line with the law while convicting the accused the system has a responsibility to ensure that the accused rights are not violated when the accused is found guilty and sentenced the role uh, the role of the criminal justice system yes is complete the victim is viewed as both as a complainant and a piece of evidence in criminal proceeding now modern uh, victimologist believe that victims receive justice only when the accused individual is convicted which is completely incorrect over here according to them it is the state's responsibility to safeguard the lives and property of the citizens from criminals when we talk about the victim suffer as a result of the state's failure to do so as a result of the state's failure to do so now various articles of the indian constitution as well as its home statutory provisions on the civil procedure code safeguard the rights of victims and give monetary compensation for example we lawyers file section 125 crpc for maintenance yes so these are the uh, aspects uh, where for a long period in india the trial courts have ignored this legislative measures for paying uh, victims the trial courts primary concern is the accused conviction of or acquittal however over the last 3 decades in india the higher court were a step forward to protect the rights of the um, crime victims through judicial activism the supreme court and the high court have issued number of rulings in which the victims have been compensated the apex court rewarded the victims for their restitutions in cases where the crime was committed but no report was filed by the police authorities crime victims have a right to compensate you a compensation from the state or the criminal for the loss or injury they have suffered as a result of the crime victims might must be reimbursed through these different methods there's a criminal statute that allows them to file a complaint against the accused and when the case is resolved the uh, he can seek restitution from the court the second is civil law which allows him to sue for damages such as emotional physical harm suffered as a result of the crime the third step is the administrative process in which he can sue the administrative authorities for compensation for the loss of injury sustained as a result of the crime for example the purpose of this article is to examine the constitutional and statutory provisions as well as administrative schemes in india for compensating and separate and separation crime victims sorry and reparation of crime victims now uh elizaveta kutitteva and dow menen at all that is as uh, annotation the essay examines these essay examines the issue of criminal and domestic violence against women and makes recommendations for changing national policy in this area the author examined international regulatory documents as well as foreign experience and tools for the uh prevention of crime against violence that is criminal violence against uh, women now as well as the laws of the uh, uzbek uh, republic yes and a number of other uh, countries the degree of influence of this 
document uh, in uh, on national legislation and the law enforcement practice is evaluated the value of the family law is determined by the importance of the family in society yet the subject of the family laws uh, uh, yeah place in the system of branches of law has been debated now these uh, the phrase family law is used to refer to a science a branch of law and a legislative branch that is family law in our opinion as a defining role in regulating the individual the family the society and the state interactions regardless of the positions adopted by the specific scholars who study this topic now the goal of family law as a sac as a science branch of law and legislation is to achieve a reasonable balance between the interest of the individual family and society state regulation of family relations protections of the rights of family members of person on the uh, gas of education and protection of the rights of children women law violence equally uh, rules equally rules the um, very very important uh, family law growth that is family law and morality philosophical aspects of family law now the last one is safras khan uh, where the literature review is following women law and human rights i'll be continuing in my next video